Here's your WTF Action News for Monday, May 20th. Gratiot County woman has been arrested after a hit and run that killed two people and injured 13 others in neighboring Clinton County. Investigators say it happened Saturday evening when a group of 15 people were walking along the shoulder of the road. The victims ranged from toddler to senior citizen and some suffered life-threatening injuries. The 35-year-old driver was stopped several miles away and police say the suspect had been drinking. A machete-wielding man was arrested on Saturday after he interrupted a graduation party in Macosta County. When police arrived, they found the man had shattered the glass on the front door before he entered the building. He began waving the machete and making statements that everybody was going to hell. Three people at the party used a chair to push the man outside. The man left and then drove across the lawn of the sheriff's office and threatened an officer. The 36-year-old man from Hershey is in jail pending multiple felony charges. I-94 in Emmett County was shut down Saturday morning after a semi-truck caught fire. The truck was hauling iodine gas and lithium batteries. Both lanes of I-94 at mile marker 100 were closed for a considerable time while firefighters extinguished the hazardous material incident. Drivers were forced to find alternative routes to avoid driving near the burning truck. Three people were seriously injured Saturday night when a propane tank exploded just outside a business in downtown Rochester. Several others suffered minor injuries in the blast. Police say the propane tank first caught fire and then exploded shortly after. The incident remains under investigation, but the cause is believed to be accidental. The propane tank was part of an outdoor heater on the sidewalk. South Haven firefighters were called to a home on North Shore Drive and they could see flames coming out of the second floor window when they arrived. No people were home at the time, but first responders rescued the family dog from the house. It's not clear what caused the fire, which remains under investigation. Stand by. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and cue music. On this day in 1966, Bob Dylan and the band played at the ABC Theater in Scotland. Some members of the audience were unhappy with Dylan going electric and attempted to overpower the band by playing their own harmonicas. Shorty Long was born on this day in 1940. The soul singer had the 1968 U.S. number 8 single, Here Comes the Judge. He also acted as MC for many of the Motown Review tours. He died at age 29 when his boat capsized on the Detroit River in 1969. We have a chance of showers and thunderstorms later in the day, otherwise cloudy with a high in the mid-60s. Winds from the southeast at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Showers and thunderstorms continue into the overnight hours with a low temperature around 53. Some rain early on Tuesday, gradually becoming partly sunny with a high near 70. WTF Action News is a public service of your local community radio station, WXTFLP Harrisville. Right here in Alcona County, Michigan.